So Moses and them were in the wilderness for 40 years. Now check this out. A jubilee is every 50 years. Now if you times 40 jubilees times 50, that's 2,000. And it's been 2,000 years from Jesus till now. Not only that, but we're in a jubilee year right now. The last jubilee year was 50 years ago. And right now there's a war with Israel. And right now they have red heifers in Israel. Do you know how rare a red heifer is? The last one was slaughtered in biblical times. There have been nine slaughtered red heifers. The 10th one, they say will be sacrificed by either Jesus or Elijah. They also have to be slaughtered in a Jubilee year. My friends, it's a Jubilee year this year. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you right now? Moses and them were in the wilderness for 40 years. There has been 40 Jubilees from Jesus till right now. My brothers and my sisters, God's glory is upon us. We are heading into the millennial kingdom. We are heading into the promised land. We are heading into the great and terrible day of the Lord. They're talking about the third temple being built within his jubilee year, which is one of the reasons that the Hamas leaders even attacked Israel. You can look this up because they don't want them to build the third temple. And they're also talking about the red heifer being sacrificed this jubilee year who the Jews say will either be sacrificed by Elijah or the Messiah. However, physical things are put there for us to know what spiritual things are going on. Even when it comes to the third temple, we understand that we are the temple. But the fact is, we're in a jubilee year and they're talking about building it. They're talking about sacrificing the red heifer. This should let you know what time we are in. It has been 4,000 years from Adam till Jesus. It has been 2,000 years from Jesus till now. A day to God is a thousand years to us. On the fourth day of creation to God, he created the sun. On the fourth thousandth year, the son, Jesus Christ, came into flesh. On the seventh day of the creation of God was God's resting day. We have been here for 6,000 years and we're heading into the seventh day. God's resting day, the millennial kingdom reign with Christ. Why do you think so much is going on? Because of the time we are in. Listen, the Bible is filled with type and shadow. So many of you know that you're a temple, but you don't even understand what was in the temple. The temple consisted of the outer court, the holy place, and the holy of holies. And it's built for us to understand the stages that there are of sanctification. Got the outer court, the holy place, the holy of holies. The outer court is for babies. The holy place is for sons. The holy of holies is for fathers. This is why only high priests were allowed in the holy of holies. But it's a type and shadow for us to understand who we are as temples. Paul even said the sacrifices that went on at the physical tabernacle never took away sin. We have to understand that we are beasts. Any, anybody without Christ are just beasts with consciousness. Many people don't even understand the spiritual aspect of the mark of the beast is you being sealed in your carnal nature. On your forehead, meaning your mindset, and in your hand, meaning your works. And those who are sealed with God's name on their head are being sealed with the mind of Christ. Coming into a nature being one with God Almighty. John 17, 21, that all of them may be one as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you, may they also be in us. So the Lord wants to engraft us in him by engrafting his word in us. Do you understand that the more word you engraft, the more gospel that you eat, the more your spirit is ascending to God? In other words, you're coming back up from where Adam fell. Are you hearing what I'm telling you right now? Listen, when they brought lambs to be sacrificed for the atonement of sin, they didn't believe the sin to be atoned for until the high priest consumed the offering. They would sacrifice the sheep on things that look like a cross. So when Yeshua came as the perfect lamb for sacrifice and he was crucified on the cross, just like the high priest consuming the offering for atonement of sin, Jesus being crucified was also a type and shadow for us now to consume him. Consume the lamb, consume the offering, consuming the word, consuming the bread of life, consuming Jesus, consuming him. Because it brings me back to engrafting the word of God. The more we consume the Lord, the more our spirit is ascending, the more we're coming into maturity, the more we're coming into completion, the more we're coming into perfection. Be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. This is what Jesus Christ was talking about. He was talking about us ascending by consuming his word, by engrafting his revelation. The more we engraft his revelation, the more we come out of this carnal nature and this carnal mindset, the more we come out of our beastly thinking. 
And this is what the devil is afraid of, us coming into true knowledge and understanding who we actually are as children of God. Do you hear what I'm telling you right now? It's not just about saying a prayer and saying that you believe in Jesus Christ. Even the devil and the demons believe in Jesus Christ. The believe that the Lord wants you to do is bowing to him and coming into his revelation, obeying his commandments and consuming his word. Not just saying you believe in Jesus. It's time to wake up, my brothers and sisters. It's time to wake up, fellow Christians. Wake up and come into dominion and authority and kingdomship the way you are meant to be. Come into your inheritance the way the Lord wants you to come into it. Realize who you are in God. This is what the kingdom of darkness is afraid of. It says that Jesus was the first fruit of many brethren. Who do you think that brethren is? It says that Jesus is the king of kings. Who do you think those kings are? It says that Jesus is the Lord of lords. Who do you think those lords are? My brothers and sisters, it's time to take position because the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. Come out of the distraction, my brothers and sisters. What they are feeding you on the movies, what they are feeding you with the music and the radio and the television. They are feeding you lies and deception so that you don't find out who you truly are. The devil doesn't want you to know, but I'm here to tell you, his time is short. The kingdom of darkness is falling and the kingdom of God, hallelujah, is raising. The Lord is pouring out his spirit on all flesh and we are coming into true divine revelation and true knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation literally starts with the revelation of Jesus Christ. That word revelation is the Greek word apocalypsis, which derived from the two words apo and kalepto. Apo meaning to remove, kalepto meaning the veil. What veil is it talking about? It's talking about the veil to enter into the Holy of Holies, which only the high priest can go. It's talking about the veil, which is the flesh. Us coming into divine knowledge, hallelujah. God dwelled in the Holy of Holies. So when that veil is ripped, the glory of God is going to be shown. My brothers and sisters, we are in that day. The revelation of Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, Jesus is being revealed right in front of our face. It's not about the end of the world. The word of God says, allow your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. The word of God says, all creation waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. That means when the sons of God are manifested, all the creation shall follow back into the garden of Eden. Hallelujah. Just like when Adam fell, all creation followed. Now, who are the sons? Those who have the son in them. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. You are a son in the spirit if you have Jesus Christ inside of you. My brothers and sisters, it's time to go back to what we once knew. It's time to go back to what they taught in the early church father days. And if you don't know what that is or where that is, come to Bible study. Hallelujah. And you will find out. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.